In a touching narrative of reconciliation, Amy Yazbek, the widow of beloved actor John Ritter, shared a poignant account of how she facilitated a reunion between Ritter and his former co-star, Suzanne Summers, just before his untimely passing. The tale, unveiled during an episode of the Still Here Hollywood podcast with Steve Kometko, sheds light on a moment of closure and forgiveness between two iconic figures of television history. The backdrop to this narrative is the iconic sitcom Three's Company, where Ritter and Summers shared the screen as Jack Tripper and Chrissy Snow, respectively. However, their professional relationship faced strain when Summers exited the show amid a reported salary dispute, desiring parity with her male counterpart. Despite the success of the show, their friendship was marred by misunderstandings and unresolved tensions. Yasbeck recounted the pivotal moment at the premiere of Victor slash Victoria on Broadway in 1995, where fate intervened, bringing her face to face with Summers in the restroom. Without hesitation, Yasbeck extended an olive branch, mentioning Ritter's presence and ensuring Summers that he would greet her at the after party. This serendipitous encounter set the stage for a long-awaited reunion. At the after party, as Summers performed Can't Dance, Don't Ask Me, Ritter approached her, breaking the ice with a heartfelt embrace. Yasbeck vividly remembered the significance of that moment, underscoring the misunderstandings that had clouded their relationship. Despite Ritter's liberal views and belief in equality, the rift between them persisted, fueled by miscommunication and unspoken sentiments. Yasbeck revealed the complexities of Ritter's feelings towards Summers, emphasizing his reluctance to engage publicly in any discourse that might tarnish their bond. Ritter's sudden demise in 2003 left behind a void, robbing them of the opportunity to mend their friendship and explore new beginnings. Yet, a glimmer of closure emerged through a poignant phone call just one month prior to his passing. 